Hey everybody, how's it going? one Eye Sniper here, and I'm going to start a Let's Play for Fallout 4. Um, so this uh, Let's Play is going to focus on the Horizon Survival Mode mod. Um, I've got other mods on there, and they're all going to be in the description. Uh, but if you're interested in... Like, if you've played through it before, played through it before, and you just want to change it up, uh, um, th you should look at the Horizon mod. It's a complete overhaul of Survival Mode. Uh, and uh, it just should change your playthrough uh, a little bit. Uh, I haven't actually used it that much. I've just read the description on it. Um, I just checked it to make sure that it worked, and it did. Um, so I'm going to go through a couple of the bullet points that the uh, author put out for it, uh, just to give you an idea of some of the changes here. going to take a couple minutes. But um, all right, so food, water, sleep, perks, level ups, no longer restore health. Um, so that basically before, um, there was a bunch of ways to get your health restored. Sleeping was one of them. Uh, if you leveled up in the middle of combat, you got your health restored. Um, that's not going to happen anymore. Um, all right, so bandages and first aid kits can be used out of combat to heal wounds. These are new items that can be crafted at the chem station. Uh, limb damage can only be cured by trauma kits and doctor. Trauma kits are also going to be crafted at the chem station. Uh, that's similar to the doctor's bag from uh, New Vegas. Uh, stim packs are the only thing that heals in combat and no longer heals limb damage. Uh, with one caveat to that, it does slightly heal limb damage to leg. Um, his purpose behind that was he didn't want you to forget a trauma kit uh, and then get your leg crippled and then you'd have to just limp all the way back. So he does slightly heal leg damage so that way you wouldn't have to do the limping. Um, loot, especially ammo and rare materials, is for Duke. Uh, loot containers and NPCs are given more appropriate immersive loot including brand new items. Leveling is much slower and stats, health, damage is all rescaled and balanced around. Many of the bloated damage and resist perks are rebalanced against the new scaling system. Some perks were completely overhauled to give new bonuses and utility. The Vans perk now grants you bonus perk points every five levels. This offsets the slower leveling progression. Uh, so basically every fifth level you can put a point into Vans and you'll get five points from that. Uh, so many NPCs scale better with your level and should be more challenging throughout your entire playthrough. So as I understand it, the um, once you got towards the end uh, during survival mode or high level, it was no longer as challenging because it would spawn like a same level raider as you, but then his items suck. So I, I guess he tweaked that uh, scale with you a little better. Uh, see, new crafting ingredients are added to some recipes. Some require salvaging, uh, some of them are crafting. Pharmaceuticals are crafted under utility category of the chem station and are used to craft medical supplies. So that would be the trauma kit. First aid kit, stuff like that. Uh, a new equipment item is used to increase or offload your carry weight depending on perk slash allies. And this is crafted at the new robotics lab. Uh, so the idea behind this is um, you, you still have the reduced uh, carry weight. Bit you didn't change that. But what it is implemented in a new system in which you could offload junk uh, while out in the field. Uh, the idea behind that was is that with, with the reduced carry weight, if you were at your max limit you just weren't exploring as much because it would do you any good um, so this is kind of a best of both worlds it still reduces the your total carry weight so you can't be carrying a fat man rocket launcher minigun and every other gun you can think of so that's still reduced on what you can carry armor wise and weapon wise but you can still collect all the junk and then you just kind of offload it onto uh, basically if I understand it right it's like an invisible robot that you've crafted that you're um, at your settlement uh, and they will kind of ferry the junk from you back to your settlement out in the field so I, I kind of like the idea of that uh, I think that was a good good thing I haven't seen it work yet so we'll have to see but um, it, it it seems like a good idea also he took a new settlement fast travel system is implemented throughout the settlement workshop under resource uh, miscellaneous so basically that makes it to where you can fast travel between your settlements once you've built this thing um, which, again, I, I think that having no fast travel at all was a little tedious. I think this is a good system for that. Uh, I, I think it's kind of lore friendly. It, you should be able to move. Travel between your settlements with relative safety and not have to, to walk it on your own. Um, but it still has a restriction on you can't just be in the middle of you know, a grocery store and decide you want to get a shotgun and just head back to the settlement, pick it up, and then fast travel back. So that... You can't do that, so I, I think it was a good middle ground. 
Uh, also, there's a new settlement progression system which gives you goals and rewards for progressing your settlement. Uh, and he's got a caveat for that, it's still in development. So this mod is technically a beta. Um, it's on version decimal 993. Um, but the author has stated that he feels like it's stable stable enough and has everything he wants in it where he should have had it be 1.0. There's just a couple little things he wants to keep adding before that happened. Um, and I didn't want to wait any longer. I've got a little time off of work, so I just wanted to get started. So uh, I'm starting now on version 993. Uh, but it's, it's supposedly really stable, so I shouldn't have any issues there. Uh, and also the last note is new guard towers, sentry turrets, vendor stalls, and miscellaneous objects are available. Um, so that's it. So one thing I'm not sure on is if he comes out with updates, if I'll be able to incorporate them. Um, I, I guess it would depend on what he's changing, um, on whether I can add it to my new save file or not. So we'll see how that goes. I may just be stuck on this version. If that's the case, it's fine. Um, again, there's huge amount of changes. So if you're, you're interested in it, go check out the page. He's got a really good write-up on everything that's changed. Um, so that's something to check out. Uh, and then all the other, all the mods I have will be in the description. I've got other ones. Um, I'll just kind of highlight a couple. Um, I have the mod uh, Everyone's Best Friend. I probably got the name wrong a little bit. But it enables you to have both dog meat and a companion. Um, I like that. It may make it a little easier, but I don't think it'll be that much. But there's some perks for dog meat that if you don't have him with you, they're useless. So I thought that was kind of dumb. And also, I haven't finished the story myself. And I haven't even scratched the surface on the companions. And I want to, you know, take them with me and, and be able to experience their storyline. Uh, I have some UI mod sorting mods in there. Or one sorting mod in there. Vivid Weathers, Darker Night. Um, don't Call Me Settler. Um, I don't have a lot of gameplay change mods, with the exception of Horizon. It's a huge one. Um, the uh, companion one's probably about the only. Also, I do have a mod installed that enables a, a version of saving during survival mode, though I don't know if it's working yet. But if it is working, what it's going to do is we'll find uh, hollow tapes out in the wasteland that allow us to save. That's the only way you can save outside of saving at a bed. So. Um, I like that you can't just save anytime you want, but I would like an option. Um, and having a limited resource that allows you to do that, I think, is a good trade off. But again, I'm not sure if I got it working or not. So that we may only be able to save a bit. Um, but I think that's it. Um, so I guess um, we're going to go and jump right in there. Uh, real quick, I'll cover. I, I've played a lot of hours into Fallout 4. I haven't beaten it. I, I never did any of the storyline quests. I kept restarting. Um, I'm, I'm bad at that. Um, but this will be my definitive playthrough. Um, but to give you an idea how far I got, I never even went to Diamond City. So I haven't even seen that yet. I haven't met anyone there. The only thing I did was get kind of far into the Minutemen. Um, I'm not sure how far I got into it, but I, basically, if you're familiar with the game, uh, I retook the castle and as far as I went with the Minutemen storyline. And that's probably about as far as I went with any of them. Um, so it's not a blind playthrough because I'm well aware of Fallout and how to play. Um, but I didn't progress that far in the story. So this will be my definitive playthrough. I'm going to do it all the way through um, using this mod. Um, okay, so yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in there. If you are sick of seeing the intro and the opening uh, kind of prologue, just go to episode two and that will be right when we get into the wasteland. Uh, that's, that's how I'm going to do that. Uh, and one final note, I plan on keeping the episodes around 20 to 25 minutes a piece. Uh, this one may be longer or shorter, depending on how quick we get through it. Uh, but alright, let's get in there. And yes, we will be starting a new game on Survival.
war never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. All right, so I'm not gonna do any character uh, changes right now. I'll do that in between episode one. This episode and the next. Just to save a little time. All right, let's try to get through this. Good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit, brewed to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Uh, thank you, Godsworth. I'm not really a coffee drinker or for a, a diet Nuka-Cola, but thank you. Yeah. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. What's up, Nora? Hmm. More of the same. We get two newspapers delivered? Seems way. Ah, oh, sounds like someone made a sticky. I shall attend to young Shaw. Uh, you do you know, that. I was nervous at Maybe first, put that buzzsaw away, though. It's really good with Sean. Or not. But then we're looking at a cold front coming down from Canada, making it crisp and dry. For this is what the best Let's Plays probably. are made of weather reports. Oh, uh, also, I'm going to have to keep the radio off because um, it's going to be on YouTube and I don't want to deal with copyright issues. <sighs> I'm never going to find that dog. Found out about that during my Let's Play of Bioshock. Learned my lesson there. There we go. Come on, ring the doorbell. Can you get that? Good morning! vault -Tech calling. Go on. Nice to find you, sir. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. I'm here now. So you are. <laughs> so you are. Creepy. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a... Uh, <laughs> 
precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Now, I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. All right, so our character is going to be Davith. He is my uh, go-to guy for all the Let's Plays. Charisma, make sure I have it sick. Get a boost in agility and intelligence. Uh, yeah, that's good to start. I know another thing with the mod is he... Basically, critical hits aren't really going to be a thing you can count on unless you've actually got points into luck. So I'll probably do that eventually. i have to look at what the perks are for that. Uh, so right now, that's going to be my low one. I am going to do a lot of weapons modding, I think. And since this is going to be a survivor mode, uh, sneaking is important. So Yeah, seven points in it. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just going to walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks, buddy. Thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. You didn't cut up my kid, did you? Has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. Or set him on fire I with a torch. He needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. Let's do this. Let's do some fathering. What's up, creepy baby? How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. I swear, Nora is a freaking nin. Shows up. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? I don't know, let's go see. Followed by, yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do, oh, no. we do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my god. We we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Cosworth. Let's go. Stay safe, buddy. And your family as well, sir. See you, buddy. Uh, residents of Sanctuary Hills. If you are Why registered, Nora? Book it. evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Time to motor. Keep it orderly. Vault participants this way. Shh. Beat the bad. Who cares? Just help me pack it up. What the hell is wreckage in the water? We should try to clean that up. It's not the end of the world yet. Check in at the gate. That's absurd. I am not on the vault list. Deck. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't shoot. We're not out. in the vault program. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. We're gonna die. Pointing this. Who cares if if you're in the program, program, step forward. Otherwise, Thanks. return home. No, 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 no. Why don't they let us in? We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Doesn't really have a good ma'am. And God help us. Let check out that closely, me. but Come that's on. good. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're doing the gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Uh, 
just so you know, I think most people probably check this out, but if you Step on the delay too long, you get center. new. <laughs> that's my first time I played through. I dwell, got blown up. All right, that's it. Send it down. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Now, now! Send it down now! Hold on! Oh god! Oh god! Looks like they only saved like seven people there. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly hey fashion. No Luke. need to worry, folks. A goddamn we'll get Luke. everyone situated hey, in your new home. An elevator. Vault so 111. Slow. A better future underground. So All right, Nora, just, just push them yes, out of the way. Up the stairs. Go. I can't believe it. Oh, a minute later. All new no, no, we don't. Don't get caught up thinking about that. Well, okay. you're safe now. Female and so good. Step over to the table, take a seat. You'll need your seats uh, before we can take you thanks. further. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Come on, Doc. See? This way, please. This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is Just one of our most way. advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, it's mind gone. you. Our home. Good, Everything we had. My mother and hey, father sir. down in DC. Right Oh God, honey, what if they didn't make it? Uh, how long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through. Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. As well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Uh, sure. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time decontaminate for and depressurize. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. The pressurizing is so important. complete. In five, four, oh, three, no. two, one. I mean, the guy seemed upset when he shot Nora, but he sure didn't really take any time to try to calm her down. 
probably could have been handled better. Let's get you out of there. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! I'll find who did this. Then I'll get Sean back. I promise. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of this vault. Got our dead wife's ring. Let's move. That would be the worst part to me, it's the giant bug. I'm not really a big bug fan. And having giant roaches, scorpion, fly. Awful. Okay, so these have been renamed Combat Stimpact. Um, so one of the changes is that um, all the ones that existed in the world are, are still going to be. But the they won't get dropped as much uh, for loot as loot. They won't be dropped as loot as much as the... So like a chance of a raider dropping it are pretty But as far as healing goes, there's other items, first aid kits that we can craft that'll do outside of combat healing. Giant roaches? What the hell? Still gonna need water though. Uh, that's another one of the changes, is like before you'd get purified water here and at your settlement. That doesn't happen anymore. So still get uh, so this will be dirty water now and then you can still boil it but it won't make it purify make it cleaner so it's harder to get clean water in in with this mod um, then there's other things like stim packs and right away doesn't have a ne negative effect on you anymore. that was just one of those things more annoying so it won't dehydrate you or anything like that it'll just take away ready Also, you're going to see that food drops less. Of course, not in these two instances. Uh, that's kind of weird to drop. Each one dropped. But anyways, food should drop less because there's a perk for that. Uh, it's called Survivor. So, uh, food's a little harder to come by. There were before it pretty much dropped it every time. Now it, it's going to be a little less often. Also, you won't have to eat as much. So, is I, the idea was that if you were to eat a big meal in real life, you're not going to get weaker if you haven't if you don't eat ten hours later. So, still have to eat, and the quality of food matters in this. But you won't have to eat like every. Uh, Six hours on the dot every single time, what anything like here? that. Where is everyone? Also, uh, as we read in the the note, the amount of ammo we get is extremely reduced. So as you can see, you get seven there, five there. We won't be getting nearly as much ammo. Got to be a little more conservative. I don't think there's anything else here. This is the only time I'm really going to skip through stuff. Like normally I'd read what's on uh, terminals, but everyone's pretty familiar with it. And there's nothing really groundbreaking on the terminal. I didn't get it in time. Alright, so we are going to conserve ammo here. And then if you haven't played survivor mode, there's a new thing you got to deal with, the uh, disease, so 
creatures can give you disease. Eating bad food, I think, can give you disease. There's a bunch of stuff. And I think using Kim's makes you more susceptible. I don't know if the mod changed that. And we will be using some drug plate. It's gonna happen. This pit boy here. Maybe you can clean off the screen a little better than that? No? Alright, so we got our pit boy. Hopefully you guys like my color scheme. I kind of like yellow. Alright, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this one, but uh, this is one of the mod settings uh, for sleep or save. Basically, gives you the option at a bed to sleep or save. You don't have... I think I covered And then it's got some other things on it. I don't know what... The, I'll have to get into the configuration to see what else it does. Vault door cycling sequence initiated. Please stand back. Let it get out of this piece, huh? That's doing that. I don't know if I've ever actually checked right here. No. All right, guys. This is where we're gonna go and end this episode. I'm gonna modify what our character looks like um, now, uh, off camera, and then the next episode we'll either. Start out right down here, and then take the elevator up, or we'll start up on the start out on the surface. Uh, when I'm once I modify the character, I don't know if I have an option to like come back. So if you notice in episode two, we're on the surface already. That because I had to. But all right, guys, um, thanks for watching. Uh, I think we're gonna be a little over 30 minutes on this one. All the other ones should be less than that 20 to 25 is what I'm. Um, so okay, thanks for watching. I hope you guys join me on this journey. It should be a lot of fun. I am gonna die a lot. So get ready for that and we will be doing some backtracking or not backtracking but doing stuff over again because of the depth so uh, hopefully i can stay uh focused and make sure we find the beds and save because uh, if not it's kind of punishing otherwise but all right guys thanks for watching appreciate it i know you have a choice in where you watch your fallout 4 let's plays and i thank you for choosing one night sniper peace out everyone